What three things should you know if you're moving to Indianapolis? Hi, it's Bob with Top Choice Real Estate giving you the word on the street talking Indiana real estate. Knowing those three things will make you sound like a bona fide Hoosier. Cue the laughter. Okay, number one, basketball is a religion. Notre Dame may be located in South Bend, Indiana and has won 11 national championships in football. But folks, this ain't Texas. The round ballers hold court. It's all about hoops. If you've seen the movie Hoosiers starring Gene Hackman, you'll know what I'm talking about. It is a true to life depiction of what small Indiana towns look like back in the day. It's based on Tiny Milan winning the state title in basketball in 1954. My wife's aunt was even a cheerleader on that team and uh, Lynn spent a good part of her childhood going to her grandparents' farm in Milan. It had an enrollment of 161 students. In the day following its stunning state championship victory, the town of 1,150 people was invaded by 40,000 basketball crazy fans. Or maybe they were crazy basketball fans. There's a pro team too. It's the NBA's Indiana Pacers. But you'll be expected to know the most about the college game. Purdue University has won more Big Ten titles than any of the other 14 schools, or other 13 schools. Figure that one out. And IU, or Indiana University, has won five NCAA titles, including three under legendary coach Bobby Knight. You'll probably want to know something about the current rosters, what happened in last night's game, and have the correct opinion on Bobby Knight's legacy. My team and I have actually taken the time to create the ultimate relocation guide. The guide is 100% free. Just click the link in the description or the top pinned comment. Number two is the Indianapolis 500. Sportscasters call it the greatest spectacle in racing. Actually, it's much more than that. With a crowd of three or 400,000 and being televised to over 200 countries, it is the world's largest sporting event. The festivities begin on January 1st with the countdown. Things really get rolling in the month of May. And yes, it is the month of May in Indianapolis. The whole town of Speedway just rocks and rolls for that whole month, along with the rest of Indianapolis. There's rookie orientation and practice and qualifying and something called bump day and carb day and the 500 parade which happens to be the third largest in the country. And finally, there's race day, where 33 drivers will run 200 laps around the two and a half mile oval. It's so big that Brickyard Golf Course has five holes inside the infield. 1911 was the date of the first race. The whole thing is just steeped in tradition. The winning drivers kiss the fabled Brickyard at the finish line and chug a quart of milk before getting handed the 110 pound Borg Warner Trophy. It is so challenging, that only five drivers have won back-to-back -back races, and nobody has been able to get three in a row. With speeds topping out at 237 miles per hour, it's no wonder names like A.J. Foyt, Mario Andretti, Rick Mears, and Elio Constraneves live on as legends. And if you're not a race fan, well, you can still join in the party. People from all over the country flock to Indy for race weekend and the parties are almost as fast as the track. Number three, you've probably been wondering about the local cuisine. I live here, so I'm not even sure I know what that word means. So top food, drum roll, the breaded tenderloin. Back when I first moved to Indianapolis area, I had a business associate that took me to a bar and grill called The Garage, and it was located just north of Speedway. When they brought out the breaded tenderloin that he said I just had to have, it was so big, it, it not only flopped over the bun, it flopped over the plate. My wife and I go to a place called Julio Tools, and they have a, a, a breaded tenderloin special from time to time, and we'll get it, and we'll split it, and we'll still take some home. So, before you order a taco or a cheeseburger, be sure to check out the restaurant's reputation for the local favorite the breaded tenderloin. By the way, I like mine with mustard and pickle. Study hard, and if I can help with your move, be sure to hit me up. And hit the subscribe button, and share this with all your friends and coworkers, because I work harder to make good things happen. Make it a great day now.